No fire, no fire, no fire, no fire. Uh, supposed to do that? It's always tricky to introduce people to an old project in a new way. Believe it or not, I've had this truck since I was 15, and there's been several times where I've almost had it together, but just not quite. This is a 1977 F100 Custom step side, but it is sitting on a 2008 Crown Victoria P71 police car chassis, which is fantastic for any uh, early bump side and dent side trucks, but I didn't want a 4.6. Basically all of this stuff almost was in a derby. So this is a 1971 Cadillac 472 big block. Has a uh, Edelbrock Performer RPM intake. I actually probably can't see it. I built a uh, big block Chevy oil pan for it, modified to fit the Caddy. It has 394 long tube headers on it that were also modified, but they were close-ish to the right ports, so they worked. And uh, we're going to electrify it a bit. I want to get this thing out. Obviously, these two are still coming out. Just got a new fire suit. And, uh, you know, you might be wondering why I would be building this instead of finishing, you know, one of the race cars. Uh, long story short, I am finishing these guys. This guy is almost ready for battle. And this guy... Well, I got to finish putting together the Hemi, so it's not quite ready. But I kind of want to tinker with this. I want to try to get it out before the end of the year. And honestly, I want to try to tow one of my race cars with it. So what we're going to do is put electric power steering on it. I've already started. I don't want to give away too much. And, uh, you know, I have long-term plans for this thing. But for now, I guess we'll have to go back in time and go to the junkyard. Anybody else willing to spend thousands of dollars on race cars and then be annoyed when their economy car needs something? We are only here for a power steering pump. Focus, focus. Well, it's not gonna focus. I really hate doing wiring. And I have to say these things, obviously not sponsored, but like these things are amazing. It does like everything for you. 
So I had to shorten the harness a bit just because I wanted to keep this near it and only run two wires inside the cab uh, for the actual switch that controls the, I guess, the steering pressure or how much assistance it gives you. So I extended some wires that didn't have gray and yellow, but these guys will go inside the cab and then there's this effectively a little dimmer switch and there'll be an on off switch or a keyed ignition switch. We're going to mock it up on the ground just because uh, I'm going to put a painless wiring harness in the truck. So I don't want to put anything in that's temporary, but uh, yeah, let's go see how it goes. So this is about as janky as you can get. This truck is going to get the battery in the back of it, and we're going to be running a painless harness with a uh, power bus bar on the front for the Holly EFI that will go on later. So right now we're kind of uh, simulating a system here. You can kind of see it going up into the dash there. Inside the truck, all you need is either switched power or um like ignition keyed power and this dial which you can actually tune how much steering assist you want there are some guys who are smarter than me who figured out how to hook that up to a gps speedo so that if you're on the highway you have almost none and if you're you know back in a trailer in and you're not going very fast then you know you have your full assist so we're going to try this and hopefully this doesn't puke everywhere. Now, this guy requires constant power. You can kind of see it here. I'm going to our battery. And then you're essentially triggering it. You can do this without a controller. You don't need this. Um, all you have to do, I believe it's the middle pin, is to just have an on-off switch and it'll go into basically like an idle mode so it'll be i think half the assist power don't quote me on that but honestly with i think this kit i found it on ebay for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks probably worth doing so let's see if this thing will puke its guts out and also yeah the hose situation's a little hilarious i'll have to fix that so you might be asking yourself why would i want this pump in the first place well this thing is only gonna have an alternator and water pump. So I wanted to clean up the front. It's also really tricky to find big block Cadillac accessories. They don't seem to come up for sale all the time, like uh, factory brackets and stuff. And obviously this isn't a restoration deal, but the cool thing about this pump is it's still going into a factory power steering column. So anything that already had power steering whether it be rack and pinion or steering box, technically you could put this pump on it, hide this so that it's nowhere to be found, you know, just running your lines. You know, it could be in a trunk, it could be wherever. And now you have power steering. And honestly, like, this steering setup's a little weird because this engine's gigantic and it steers so good. So... Yeah, if you have a hot rod with really, really wide front tires and you want it to handle good, this is probably a good option. Not to mention, I think it was like 60 bucks from the junkyard for this thing. Obviously, the poor uh, Volvo I ripped it out of probably isn't super happy about it, but I certainly am. Okay, um, you guys watch for smoke, and uh, I'll... Well, I'm going to turn the steering wheel. All right, so right now when I turn it on, it should be at its lowest setting, assuming I didn't screw anything up. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool, actually. I'm not seeing anything spray out yet, so... steer a little better but that is the lowest setting let's see if we can rev it up a bit here it 
It sounds like it should be in a robot movie. I kind of dig it actually. So it's revved up now. People used to always talk about one finger power steering. This is just I'm barely turning this thing. you can change it on the fly. And then just kills the power. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, know this is a little bit different, but you know, I want to try to get this thing out this year and I figured it would be a fun project. Uh, just so you know what to scrounge for, uh, Volvo C30, C40, C50, and C70 um, from the years, I'm trying to remember this, 2003 to 2013, uh, don't quote me on that, should all have this type of electric power steering pump. Uh, I've heard of people running these things all the way from their trunk. Uh, some of them have a built-in reservoir, some have a reservoir on the side. But either way, if you have a huge motor and something small, don't have room for a power steering pump, or just quite frankly don't want one on uh, the front end of your engine, this is a really good option. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, go build something weird.